actually, it's okay. It's it's fine. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. Does this ring a bell? Ding 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 ding. <laughs> we answered your question for you. We don't need you to tell us that you've been in an awkward situation before where you had no idea how to act or what to say. Because we know. We've had our fair share of awkward conversations. And trust me, it wasn't fun for either of us. But that's okay, right? No big deal. Well, what if we told you, right here, right now, that we could promise you an end to these awkward situations? Sounds amazing. Well, what if we told you it was possible? But it's going to require one little detail. We're going to need you to remain seated for the next eight minutes straight. And we want your full attention. Oh, and there's one more thing. Oh, yeah. We want everyone in this room to hold hands with the person sitting next to you. For our entire talk. <laughs> we don't care how comfortable this makes you feel. We need you to do it. Like we said before, no big deal, right? So here's what we're going to do. Three situations will help you get through all of them. One. Meeting someone new. It's always great making new friends, right? Finding a social circle. Getting a couple more followers. Awkward. <laughs> tips for getting out of this awkward situation. <laughs> uh, that was not part of our thing. Anyways, um, yeah, so pressing, th pressing that button, add another friend on Facebook. But before getting to the best buddy stage, how does it even start? How do you introduce yourself? Well, let's be real. A person you just met is not going to care about your brother-in-law's dead cat's funeral. They're just not that into it. Nor your latest buy on the Kindle. Stick to the small talk. Keep your introduction brief. Hi, I'm Rishi. Always remember the firm handshake. Never go for the hug. <laughs> Unless the other person goes for the hug. Then go for the hug. And not the handshake. You really don't want it to end up kind of looking like this. Hi! Hey. <sighs> Awkward. <laughs> Two, forgetting someone's name. I think it's safe to say that we've all been there before. Pretty bad on both parts, to be honest. And just like the first situation, this awkward moment does happen every now and then. But don't worry, we have some advice to help you get through it. Okay, so let's say we're at the metro. Really, the situation could happen anywhere. A grocery store, a business event, a bookstore, but we're going to stick to the metro. So there you are, sitting on the metro. All the seats next to you free, a few stops left to go. The door opens, someone steps in. They look familiar. You get the sensation that you've seen them before. You turn and make eye contact, and their face lights up in recognition as they walk towards you. Oh my, oh my god, Patty? Patty! Oh, hi! <laughs> well, there it is, you've got their name. And you're left with the awkwardly long, hi, as you desperately try to remember it. Pretty embarrassing, huh? But no need to worry, this, um, we can fix this problem with the following set of advice. Firstly, if the other person doesn't mention your name in the greeting, don't even try guess their name. Because they probably forgot yours anyways. And if they do mention your name in the greeting, simply ask for their name. And the second they say their first name, say you meant their last name. This way, you get their full name, and they probably won't be mad because people don't expect you to remember their last name, right? Another way to get out of this tricky situation is if you're with two people that don't know each other, but both know you, and you yourself can only recall one of the individual's names, say something like this. Hey, why don't you introduce yourself to Patty? <laughs> now, the last option is frankly the most correct and genuine thing to do. Just ask the person what their name is. Usually this will not be very popular, as you might feel embarrassed to tell them that you forgot but people will appreciate your honesty and might, be, might even be happy that you asked. Now, before moving on, there is one more thing to remember. Whatever you do, never, ever, ever, I repeat, never try to guess their name in an unsure situation. Trust me, if there's anything worse than telling someone you forgot their name, it's calling them by someone else's name. 
awkward. <laughs> Three, being the third wheel. Now, another thing that most of us can find really difficult is being put in a situation where we don't really feel comfortable with the people around us. An example of this is your friend asking you to hang out with a couple people you don't really know. Of course, this makes you feel uncomfortable as you don't really know what to expect. Imagine being around a group of people that you've never met before and you really feel like you need to make a good impression. They all know each other pretty well and they're all friends from before. You kind of feel like the third wheel. This must sound somewhat familiar to you. I mean, I've gone through a couple times, to be honest. And it can be extremely difficult. You probably have no idea how to act. A common mistake to make is to try to close yourself off or distance distancing yourself from the group just because, just because you feel awkward or insecure instead of trying to engage and uh, connect with people. If things start to feel awkward and nobody's really talking, a thing that will always help you is to go in with a topic in mind. Staying on top of the news is something that will always come in handy, and it's a fairly general topic that you can basically bring up at any time. It will also most likely keep the conversation going. When did talking to other people ever get so hard? Well, it's not, but you make it hard. Try to stay involved in the conversation as much as possible. Ask questions. Don't be the one sitting alone in the corner. The situation may seem scary or intimidating, but the thing is, don't overthink it. The people around you are just like you, and they're experiencing the same things. And also, they're probably not paying as much attention to what you're saying, doing, or wearing as much as you think they are. We all go through these situations and tend to stress out over the smallest things. We need, to, we need to start genuinely connecting with people and putting a stop to these situations that just make us feel uncomfortable. Sometimes we make life a lot harder than it should be because we get stuck up in our own heads. Connecting with people should never be this hard. And it's when we make it so difficult that we find ourselves in these awkward situations. You may now let go of each other's hands. Thank you.